So like you saw in the title of the video, we're going to try to insulate the tent. So uh, our problem in the winter here is it gets very, very cold because obviously we're sleeping in a canvas tent and we can't keep the stove going all night. So we decided to try and insulate it. <laughs> so at the store we found some uh, material like insulation that you would make a jacket with and we're going to try to line the walls of the tent and see if that helps with keeping the tent warmer in the winter especially for nighttime you know when you need to get up and use the toilet and you know it's so cold so you don't want to get up so hopefully this helps um, and we'll show you how we're doing it and then uh, we'll let you know if it works. One hundred percent polyester. That is Miles' favorite material. Right? No, it's not. I hate polyester. But I've been debating with myself for a long time what kind of insulation I should use. I had a choice between plywood and like some kind of aluminum foil tent insulation or this stuff which isn't tent insulation at all it's for like jackets and quilts and stuff but we went with a white because we thought that it would and the light filter through yeah and we don't want it to be dark in here yeah. we want to keep with the spirit of tenting and not make this place look like a cabin full of plywood and we also wanted to keep like the woodwork yes. showing yes my original thought was to cover this so that there was a space between the insulation and the tent, a pocket of air. Um, but if we do that, then we're gonna cover up the nice woodwork that Isaac did. So we went with this and we'll see how it goes. Oh my god, nothing. I saw the caribou skin and it scared the shit out of me. I thought it was another animal. Oh yeah. I, th I thought it was a dead animal. Oh. <sighs> I mean, technically it is. But... We'll start here and go around, right? Mm -hmm. Or are we just gonna do like a separate? Maybe just a separate, because remember the other one we had trouble with on the other side? So all we do is we slide it right through the pole and then make sure it's taut. Nice and taut. Joanna's favorite word. And we don't staple the bottom, right? Uh, in some areas I did, some areas I didn't. It's good not to staple the bottom because I actually dropped something inside in between the tent and the insulation the other day and I was happy that the um, bottom was not stapled because I don't know how I would have gotten that out. Back through here? Yeah. Yep. This is uh, getting sweaty over here. Oh, it's hot, yeah. Hey, you're right, it's getting sweaty. It's hot over here all of a sudden. Yep. I think when we finish the wall, we're gonna see a difference. When you see Joanna cooking in a t-shirt and shorts next weekend, you'll know whether it worked or not. Right, so here's the finished walls. They're all done. So I guess tomorrow morning we can, we'll really see if it helped, right? All right, let's talk about the insulation next day. Insulation update, yeah. So all last night I was sleeping thinking how good of a job we had done because the tent was warmer than it's ever been. But then this morning when I went out, I realized that it's barely freezing out. So I think maybe the reason why we were so warm last night was not because of the good insulating job that we did, but because it's not that cold out. 
And the stove was running all night. The stove did run all night, five in the morning. It was still full of coals and warm. So I think that helped because I was able to turn it down. Like I said, I could lower the temperature on the stove, burn it a lot slower and have heat all night instead of waking up in an ice box. So I guess what he's saying is we need to uh, test this out when it's a little bit colder out because today it's a really kind of mild day. Yeah, we need to get up here when it's 30 below and then we'll have a better gauge on how things are working. All right. In October, it sounded like a good idea to put my wood pile down where the old tent used to be, but now it's buried under eight feet of snow drift, so the age old problem continues. you, Joanna. What? I'm gonna cut you some wood. Perfect. Oh! oh!